solve double integral function is r divided by under root of a square plus r square dr d theta over the one loop of the curve r square equals to a square cos 2 theta. So firstly, you have to draw the diagram corresponding to this curve and then find the limit of theta and r. And over the one loop, that means when it contains two loops, so we just have to shade it one portion, either right side or left side. Here, suppose we consider this is our x-axis, y-axis. Now, r square equals to a square cos 2 theta. So, corresponding to this diagram, we get this two loop and tangent at origin is, first tangent is, suppose it is, a, tangent is theta equals to pi by 4 and second tangent is theta equals to minus pi by 4. And we have to shade it one loop because we have to solve this integral over the one loop. Either we have to take right side loop or left hand side. So here, suppose we take right hand side loop. You may take left hand side. So if you have to solve integral over one loop, suppose it is this one. Now, corresponding to this loop, again, we have to take PQ strip. And when we are talking in polar coordinates, so we have to take PQ strip always passing through origin. That is a radial strip. Suppose we consider PQ strip. This is a P point up to PQ. Now, to cover whole region, we have to rotate our Q1 strip. So here, theta varies from minus pi by 4 to theta varies from pi by 4. Because below x-axis, if you check below x-axis, then this is 0 to minus pi by 4 and then 0 to pi by 4. So it is. And limit of r, r varies from on p point, whole term will be 0, it is at 0. So on at p point, r is 0 up to the q point. q point is on loop. So from this loop, we have to write r equals to. So r equals to from this term, r is equals to, it is a, a under root of cos 2 theta. So here, given integral i equals to theta varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. And r varies from 0 to a under root of cos 2 theta under root of cos 2 theta, function is r dr divided by under root of a square plus r square. First, we have to integrate with respect to r and then with respect to theta. It is i equals to theta varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. And here, r varies from 0 to a in bracket under root of 0 to under root of a cos a under root of cos 2 theta here r as it is if we shift this denominator bracket into numerator then it is a a square r square raised to the power half minus 1 by 2 dr d theta here use integral f of x raised to the power n and derivative of this function f dash x dx. If function derivative exists in the multiplication, then it is nothing but f of x raised to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Now see here, this bracket is nothing but f of x. So derivative of this term is twice r and it contains r. Just we have to adjust 2. So in the next step, we have to multiply by 2 and divide by 2. So here, derivative of this bracket term is twice r exists in multiplication. So using this formula, bracket function raised to the power n, we can write f of x raised to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So using this formula, it is nothing but 
here 1 upon 2 constant outside theta varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 here integration of this term so function raised to the power minus 1 by 2 so using this formula it is a, a square plus r square raised to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 that is a 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 and limit is 0 to a under root of cos 2 theta it is a d theta now here put upper limit minus of lower limit and here this 2 or 2 get cancelled the remaining is theta varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 if we put upper limit here then it is a a square plus r square r square can the upper limit put kare. So upper limit ka bhi square hoga. so it is a a square cos 2 theta whole rest to power 1 by 2 minus of lower limit to minus of lower limit to it is 0 here put r equals to 0 so we get a square rest to power 1 by 2 into d theta now here a square if we take outside bracket then a square rest to power 1 by 2 that is nothing but a and here a square rest to power 1 by 2 is a so from this term we can take a outside so a completely outside of integral and theta varies from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 the remaining is in this bracket it is a 1 plus cos 2 theta raised to the power 1 by 2 minus 1 into d theta now here cos theta is even term and 1 is again even so this function is even so here minus a to a if integral contain function is even so minus a to a integral we can write twice integral 0 to a this is nothing but the property of integration minus a to a f of x dx we can write it is a twice integral 0 to a f of x dx when if f is even otherwise it is a 0 for f is if f is odd then it is 0 so this term is even so we can write it is a twice a integral 0 to pi by 4 it is a 1 plus cos 2 theta is 3 power half minus 1 theta integral 0 to pi by 4 if we use here half angle formula then it is a twice cos square theta because it is a 2 theta so twice cos theta by 2 but here 2 theta ke value se it is a twice cos theta and due cos square theta so due to this half power it is a under root of 2 cos theta minus 1 d so integration of cos term is under root of 2 as it is integration of cos is sin theta minus integration of 1 is theta limit is 0 to pi by put upper limit minus of lower limit so here 2a under root of 2 upper limit is pi by 4 and sine of pi by 4 is 1 upon under root of 2 and here minus theta is pi by 4 minus of lower limit to so when we put theta equals to 0 the whole bracket term is 0 simplify this term It is a 2a 1 minus pi by 4. This is our final answer. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe.